is for good. Them girls have to make out how they could. Brother is now they pop up in tongue. In for a penny and in for a pong. Pity me, it's competition. For so, trouble in the tongue when the price drop low. So when you bump some Gina and Diana, Rosita and Clementina. From the corner posing, that you like is something they sell it. When you catch them broke, you can get them all for nothing. Well, it is indeed an honor today to meet a man who needs no introduction. This man is a legend, not only in Calypso, but in music overall. Uh, welcome to Miami, Mighty Sparrow. How are you today, sir? Oh, not bad at all. Everything is coming along good. Great, great to hear. Well, before we get along to the pleasantries, I just want to ask you, you know, you gave us a really big scale last year. How yes, are you feeling now? Like feeling good, feeling good. As a matter of fact, I started traveling a lot, but no shows all over the place. We went to um, St. Martin, we went to Anguilla, we went to St. Thomas. We uh, went back to New York and did a couple of shows. And we are now here in Miami. Wow, <laughs> frequent traveler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did a Mother's Day show in New York last night? Yes. How did that go? Brooklyn College, wonderful. Wonderful? Yes. Okay. Very, very nice. Wow. I know you've probably lost count, but how many concerts do you think you've done in your life? Uh, well, we really can't count. <laughs> Hundreds, thousands? Yeah, it, was, it had to be quite a lot because it um, started in 1955, you know, so mm -hmm. this is 2014. What are you talking about? Yes, <laughs> yes, so we're talking about a long time. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. Um, when you do a show nowadays, is Gina and Dina still your signature song? Is that the song that people look forward to? Well, they make all sorts of requests mm -hmm. because uh, I have so many, um, call it, uh, hits that. Um, what might be your big favorite might be somebody else's uh, second choice. Yes. But not vice versa. Yes. So this is how the whole thing goes. Does it vary according to where you're? Where yeah, you're... Uh -huh. and the age group too. Yes. Yeah. Some people like saltfish. Yes, yes, yes. And all that stuff. Some people we did for the combo man, some we did for lying excuses, a lot of humor. Mm -hmm. And then others again are talking about serious ones, you know, like capitalism going mad. Yes. This sort of thing. Yes, yes. Wanted dead or alive and yes. all those things. That's the one thing that has really described, you know, been the hallmark of your career. You could do serious songs, you could do jumpy songs, you could sing ballads and everything. Um, you were just blessed with talent, weren't you? I think from the time I started, I. Um, I started a lot of singing in school mm -hmm. and singing in church. Yes. And uh, after that, having left school, you have lost a lot of that sort of thing. And you grow up with your friends on the street, go here, go here, and mm -hmm. you know, then we make a, a name for ourselves in the community. Right. <laughs> yes. And yes. that's what happens. But I still sing a lot of songs from way back, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is performing still fun? Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> After 50 years it's still fun? Oh yes. Do you ever get nervous before you go on stage? Well, long ago I used to. <laughs> yes. But nowadays I don't get very nervous, but I'm very anxious to, to please you girl. Mm -hmm. And uh, sort of figure out, try to figure out in my mind what I think they would like. Yes. And then you go to all sorts of different choices. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you start with the Gene and Diana thing, the medley, medley, you go into the lizard and the lion excuse and, mm -hmm. and uh, the, 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 the drunk and the sordidly and yes. that sort of thing. Don't back back, all Don't those. Back. Yes, yes. But then again, there are some people who will keep you in the aisles dancing and after that you they come backstage, you want to take pictures and yes. all that sort of thing. So you still enjoy mingling it's with the fans? Fun. and It's a lot of fun. Yes. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you is, um, one thing about your career is that you have always been a great showman. Your dancing and your stage movement, and I know now you're not as mobile as you used to be. Is that something that was hard to adjust to? No, no. no. I, I know I can't dance like before. So it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. um, everybody knows that I was sick some months ago, mm -hmm. 
and I'm just screwing, you know, still mm -hmm. recuperating. Yes. I'm in rehab. Mm -hmm. And so they don't expect me to do like what I used to do long ago, stand up on one foot and gyrate and carry on. Hey, if I even try that, some of the very fans who, who, who come to the show will say, man, what's stop that? You're crazy. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. So yes, yes. There's no need for me to force myself to do too So you've accepted that? Yes. For uh, now? Yes. And hopefully within um, another few months or maybe a year or so, I'll be able to show them, and look, you know what? I've completely recovered and mm -hmm. here it is. Right. One more time. Oh, we like to see that. That would be great. <laughs> that would be nice. How, how has your life changed since the whole episode last year? I mean... Well, it's been quiet, you know. Mm -hmm. No big changes, like anybody who, who was sick. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you, you're getting better. Mm -hmm. And it, it's easy to understand. Have you changed spiritually or anything like that? Well, what on my show, I usually sing the Lord's Prayer to begin. Mm -hmm. And um, this is really uh, well received. And um, but sometimes I say, you know, I don't want to do that right here now. I just want to make it sound as though, you know, we make a joke. Mm -hmm. This is a serious thing for me. Right. So uh, I'm going to do it everywhere. Right. But in some places when we have a band. Yes. And uh, the musicians are up to it. Mm -hmm. And we do it, try to do it even nicer than Mario Lanza. <laughs> yes, yes, Mario Lanza. You imitate him when you... Yeah. You do Mario Lanza, you do um, Billy Eckstein and Nat King Cole and all Satch these guys. Moore. Satch Moore, yeah. I've, heard, I've seen so many of your concerts. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Are you surprised that after all these years, a song like Gina and Dinah, which came out in 1955-56, is still popular? No, I'm not surprised. Because you see, this was all about a military base. Yes. A military base in your backyard mm -hmm. and um, they were very very nice military people mm -hmm. they made friends with almost everybody man woman whoever it is they met and you know we all loved them yes and uh, after a while they are all gone and uh, we still see them in movies and so on and so on and we have fond memories of them yes yes <laughs> yes of course of course how did you, um, when you started doing songs and everything, did you do your writing or did you get, or did you collaborate? Well, I collaborated with some people um, lately, mm -hmm. but in the beginning, nobody didn't know me, nobody didn't figure out what I could do. Yes. So, I did all my writing and arranging and everything. Is there always like a Calypso milling around in your head? To me, I think Calypso writers, there's always some idea. Well, there's always something, people who want to, uh, express their, their opinion mm -hmm. would be like that. Yes. You always want to express your, your, your feelings, your opinions about what is going on, what you think is right, what you think is wrong. Yes. And uh, so you come up with all, you know they should do this and do that. Why don't they do this and the other? All oh, mm -hmm. we day we are here, this, we are here, that, mm -hmm. and so on. But, um, mm -hmm. and yes. then you put it in the, to, together and you, you repeat it to, and that's our thing, put a little melody to it and it became... Right, right. Did you find writing songs easy, doing a song easy? For me, yeah. I wouldn't say that it's completely easy or all of that. Mm -hmm. But um, when you like it and you, and you, and you can do it, mm -hmm. you know, yes. some people I think they, they wonder, is it, is it possible to do this, that and the other, but mm -hmm. not for me. Yes. This is a way of expressing myself. Right. As I look back at some of your older songs, especially the social commentaries like Federation and Pay As You Earn and so, it's what struck me is that you, you were a very educated person. I mean, what, what were you like in school? What kind of a student were you? You seem like you were very socially conscious. I don't know. I was regular, I think. And me and my teachers got along very well. Mm -hmm. uh, I suppose it be, be, maybe I come up with with the answers that they wanted and, mm -hmm. and, and that, that sort of thing and did my whatever you know you do in school mm -hmm. I had no problem with that right but you were socially conscious you, you were always yes, yes, yes. about the politics and different you know, things have to, it's like anybody today mm -hmm. you have to pay attention to what is going on 
the, the Republicans or the Democrats, <laughs> yes. who said what, who did what. Mm -hmm. And in, 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 in my case, we had a champion politician that everybody, every one of our people loved him. Dr. Williams? Dr. Eric Williams. Mm -hmm. And um, anytime he came in the picture and said something or did something, this was something that he paid close attention to. Right. And um, when I came up with PYE, mm -hmm. that is an abbreviation for pay as you want. Yes. And um, there were a lot of people in the country who were doing very well and uh, under the system they, they had ways and means of getting away from mm -hmm. pain. Yes. And um, yes. Dr. Williams made it clear, uh, you know, pay as you want mm -hmm. and there are benefits with that. But you know, you have to be responsible and help mm -hmm. build the economy. And mm -hmm. Some people decided that they were going to leave. Yes. You don't want to pay anything. Yes. So that, that's two songs right there. Right, right. Want to pay why you pay as you earn, and you know, mm -hmm. and uh, those who don't want to pay mm -hmm. and decide they go to they migrate in somewhere. Yes. And I had to remind some of them in song that even if you leave and go, yes, you can't get away from the tax. Right. To New York or Tokyo, mm -hmm. you can't get away from the tax. Yes. So you see, doctor or no doctor. Mm -hmm. You can't get away from it. You, you know, figuring well, just what they have been doing, that they will be able to continue it by migrating, leaving in the, in the country and go. Yeah. I said, no, no, it's not like that. Right. You got to pay. <laughs> yes, yes. I've always said that a calypso is the poor man's editorial. Is yes. that a good way of putting it? Yes, yes, yes. 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 And the, 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 the man who, who, who wants to express you know, his, his opinion and, and, and in, in, in a way that maybe people wouldn't take him in the newspapers or on the radio or so on. So, so he's able to do that mm -hmm. on his own, put in his own point of view. Yes, yes, yes. Well, Sparrow, I know that um, you're a little pressed for time. You have to do a show tonight, so I'm not going to take up too much of your time. But I just want to kind of wrap up and say, um, you know, when you look back at over, over your, what has been a phenomenal career and a phenomenal life, if, you, if, if I were to ask you if you have any regrets, musically or otherwise, what would you say? No, no regrets. <laughs> you have no regrets? No regrets, no regrets. Mm -hmm. I have been honored in many countries with all sorts of different things. Things that has never happened before people have given me the recognition and, and I say thanks to them mm -hmm. and uh, you know listen when I, go, I was sick last year and at my age 78 I I can't complain. You can't complain. Mm -hmm. Well I'm still able to perform and do something you should have seen me last night. <laughs> yes. Well I'm sure they're gonna love you tonight too. Make sure that they do. Well, <laughs> well, I want to thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Very After much. all these years, thank appreciate you. it. Well, the girls in town feeling bad. No more Yankees in Trinidad. They gonna close down the base for good. Them girls have to make out how they could. Brother is now they pop up in town. In for a penny and in for a pound. Believe me, it's competition for so. Trouble in the town when the price drop low. So when you bump some Gina and Diana, Rosita and Clementina. On the corner posing. Let you like it, something they sell it. Now you catch them broke.